Who are the Jibs Alex here back with some more Space Engineers? Now I got a military themed ship here for a uh, change, as I don't really do enough of these in the scale of things, but uh, anyway, this ship is, well, I've kind of... <laughs> I've run out of ideas for names, but I'm calling it the Vulcan Enforcer. Now we're not talking about Vulcans from Star Trek or anything like that, it is purely because it is a ship designed with a lot of miniguns. Uh, now, just one thing I will mention just before I get uh, talk any further. If you hear clicking in the background, I have changed my keyboard uh, after probably many, 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 many years. <laughs> I've been using the same rubber dome mush board of a keyboard uh, for, you know, way too long, to be honest. It still even uses PS2 for crying out loud. Um, so it's, it's just old, it needed a change, and uh, I've got something mechanical now. So you're going to have to let me know in the comments how much of that clicking um, you can actually hear and if it's actually very distracting or not because um, if it is distracting I may have to get my old keyboard out for video recording which seems a little dumb in my opinion but I really don't know you, to, you guys just have to let me know what the sound is like and all the above um, but anyway this is a well once again I think with the with these ships um, I agree with what someone did. Um, some some guy commented a while ago, um, uh, just on one of, one of my videos previously. I, I can't remember who it was or which video this was now, but I just remember what he said. Um, that he likes my like said person likes my style of ships where they're not the prettiest things, but it's a nice blend of practicality with some looks. And I think at the end of the day, that is what I try to do. I try to make ships which have some, you know, some practicalness um, to them as well as, you know, they don't look like a floating lump of trash, a floating cube or a misshapen lump of metal, which, you know, that's certainly very easy to make ships that look like that, but at the end of the day, I, I there's no point making a ship look like a complete arse. Um, I'd like to at least have some kind of decent shape to them as well as, you know, not really sacrificing practicality for looks, if you know what I mean. So I try to blend the two. But anyway, that's kind of goes without saying. But no, this ship, why does it have so many miniguns? Uh, I mean, the simplest answer is this would be a medium, esc small to medium sized escort ship. I'm not sure really where this would fit in your, um, in your scale of like ship sizes. Um, but it's mainly to defend either like, I don't know, you, you had some kind of like, I don't know, resource ship that you were like, or, uh, what is it? Cargo ship even, and you just need some like, you know, military escorts. These would be very good because at the end of the day, these things are heavily armoured, but the shields are quite low for a ship of this size. The shields aren't particularly strong, but in saying that, the ships are very good uh, the ships the shields even. Uh, should be more than enough to deal with fighters, as this is basically an anti-fighter ship. Um, at the end of the day, even if said fighter has lots of heavy armour. The idea is this thing basically creates a huge area of denial, uh, basically by having so many of these Vulcan miniguns, which literally line all the damn sides of the ship. There is no blind. There's pretty much no blind spot. I mean, I suppose there is a slight blind spot from the from the tail end. I suppose if you got really close to the engines, like about here, you you know the ship can't target you there. But this thing is still somewhat maneuverable, to be honest. So for this ship to spin around and shoot something, it's kind of easy to do that. Uh, speaking of which, this ship is, like I say, because it's maneuverable enough, I even put some like forward-facing uh, armaments at the front. So we got some mini guns, some of the couple little Davids and rocket launchers. As ship, this ship is, like I said, it's probably maneuverable enough to target ships of similar size you know itself essentially it doesn't have to just fly in formation um following an, an es you know a ship that it's escorting it can actually go off and uh, target ships if it wants to um we i mean i got a couple of standards um the single 300 mil cannons just to sort of help with any kind of slightly heavily armored target but the the ultimate the ultimate amount of firepower is the sheer amount of miniguns this thing has as that's really what it does. But um, but anyway, I'll get inside in just a second. Um, but the shape itself isn't particularly interesting from the side on. It is basically... Mm, it's a bit of an egg shape, I suppose. Kind of oval. Although, I do like how the engines turned out at the back here. It just you're main, Mainly using um, the default engines this time. The default thrusters. Most of the time, they're a bit... 
it's a little difficult to make them look good on all ships, but this this particular layout looks quite all right. Um, and this is not meant to be the fastest ship in the world. Um, it's mainly meant for escort duty and the and the like. Although I did use plenty of the uh, um, azimuth thrusters here, which I sw they, they they need to add a thruster in the vanilla game that fits into a right angle block like this, or at least a, a half block, whatever you want to call it, because that is so useful. Or, or even you know scratch that, just thrusters like these, which fit into us into a one block um, size, just like one block thrusters. I don't care if the thrusters have reduced, um, you know thrust as it were for being only half the size that would make perfect sense but because they're one block you can you, you can usually fit them a lot you can fit a lot more of them into the into a smaller space and they can fit flush because these are basically just a cube they fit flush to the surface of metal although i know it's not flush in this case but that's just how the armor's curved it's you can see like the side turrets are technically in a half block but it still doesn't hinder their um hinders their uh, aiming ability but you know it just works out pretty well uh, in, in my opinion but uh, one thing I have done differently here is I've gone with a uh, an interesting under the it's more like a half cockpit if you know what I mean like as you can kind of tell the armor mate I've got it curving fairly well at the top I mean you know as well as I can in engineers um, and I've got this cockpit on the underside so it's like semi protected from the top but you've got a really really visible um, view from the underside there's gonna like there's very good visibility uh, from the uh, from the underside in terms of your what you can see and where you're flying from the cockpit and all that uh, so let's get inside and show you what's going on because it's kind of a simple ship but I'd say I've done yeah it looks alright from the inside anyway so um, we've got two airlocks uh, one there and one there I oh, was speaking of um, just looking around you might notice my FOV has changed I'm now running an FOV of a hundred degrees I just some respects with I've been doing so many small ships as of late I need to see more around my own head so FOV is a bit hundred so hopefully I don't uh, cause anyone to have motion sickness by Maybe the slight, it doesn't look too bad, but the slight amount of um, screen warping that you get from high FOV. But anyway, um, the front section's not too interesting, apart from it's just where the beacon's stored. We are technically above the bridge a little bit. Um, we have the remote control block and some of the conveyors and stuff that go to the front, um, cannons and the like. A couple shield generators, which is pretty much, it's all small generators technically. This ship, this ship does not have a huge amount of shields uh, in as, as it goes. I mean, let's have a look. Uh... Generators. Let's see. Not even quite one um, one K, uh, one MP, MPT of uh, shields, but the regen rate is decent enough. There goes my Discord. Apologies um, for that. But in the scale of things, though, it's enough for anti-fighter, but uh, not for much else. Uh, now we have two decks here. We have this one here, which is just mainly a huge line of uh, shield generators. Which they've updated the models. They're like these weird spheres um, now that stick onto the side of the generators. It's a little different, um, but uh, I mean it works out all right. Also, can I just can I just say one thing right now? Is it me? But y as I'm staring down this corridor right now, is my camera angle for my character warped? It's I my head is leaning to the right slightly at all times even though I am on a level like the gravity is level but yet my character's head is perpetually leaning slightly to the right do you not like am I going crazy or is this something that you guys can actually see like even my character um, if I can actually remember the damn buttons my character looks like he's standing upright in correspondence to the gravity but my head is like or like my camera's position is not it's a bug that seems to have persisted for many weeks now, and I, I don't know if I just m managed to glitch one of my ships and it, as it ejected me from the cockpit or something, my head suddenly got crooked. <laughs> I don't know. It's really strange. But, I mean, but like, let me know. Can you actually see what I mean? I swear my head is constantly to the leaning to the right slightly, but um, anyway, that's just a random thing there. Um, so yeah, deck one, pretty much self-explanatory, and then through this door, just a small a small back section to the engineering. The thrusters are actually behind this panel, but uh, it's mainly just some cargo storage, mainly for ammunition, if nothing else. You know, you've got to have some place to store ammo and the like. Um, so upper deck, not too much to say. It's mainly a shield generator deck, if nothing else. Um, heading below deck, same, same sort of story again, except the generators are, on, are actually on the ceiling now, pretty much. Um, although pretty much similar d design overall. Behind these blast um, door blocks is the jump drive. I, fi I finally remembered, like, hey, jump drives are a thing. 
maybe I should like put them in ships, you know, especially if I if I can actually fit one in, you know, into a small or large ship. I don't know, but just just putting a freaking jump drive in because they're, they're very useful, and I completely forgot they were a thing. In all honesty. Um, so that's the thing, and then we have some uh, oxygen generation and stuff. There's actually an assembler back there, but um, so a little bit of oxygen generation stuff, and actually no another assembler. Um, kind of forgot about that. So assemb assembly mainly of ammunition or any spare parts that you might need, but it doesn't have a refinery or anything like that. And oh yeah, the gravity is on the ceiling, and, it and even looking up at that gravity generator, I swear my head is still leaning to, to the right. I uh, whatever, um, but just. Let me know if you see this weird um, glitch because it's kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, we're in the uh, we're now in the main cockpit. As you can see, it's very open, very exposed technically. Yes, but at the same time, it is it does have a very good view. You can even stand and sort of look down at planets below. And um, I don't know. As far as bridges go, I mean, I'm usually really bad at making bridges. Like I don't know why, but I can never make them look good. This one I really do like. It just it just has a nice sort of I don't know, you are in command of this ship. It's got a very forward, I mean, it's a very forward position, but I don't know, it just looks pretty good. So, anyway, from the um, the ship stats, you can see we're about 4.3 million kilos in weight. It's not too um, not too crazy in terms of weight. Uh, and as far as the armaments go, we have the Gatling guns, as you can kind of see, that's self explanatory. Rocket pods at the top, um, which you probably didn't see, but there is two rocket pods up there, just so there. that's a thing. And then the little Davids if you need to shoot something very hard in the face um, in front of you. So if I give you a quick um, show you of performance here, the actual acceleration of the ship is, you know, for a ship of this size, and it's considering it is mainly a small to medium sized escort, it is pretty decent. Um, in terms of ship maneuverability, um, I'd say it's pretty decent. The actual gyroscopic performance is pretty good, and the, and the thruster compensation for... Um, uh, for as I change direction is very responsive like I'm not going particularly fast but the fact is I can I can basically spin around like if I let's say if I look this direction this um I don't need to actually turn the ship around like a plane but I just keep doing that I can spin I do I can do a 180 in un, in under four seconds I would say I wasn't actually counting just then but if I can flip a, if I can spin a ship of this size around that fast I can at least take care of targets with say the little Davids uh, or anything like that, you know, and this ship can actually do some shooting of its own as well as just let its turrets do the work. Um, so it can at least defend itself without the aid of its turrets. And then um, the deceleration performance is pretty decent. I, I do like how those thrusters look actually uh, from within the um, the cockpit view there. It does look pretty good. Um, it's probably, it's, I mean, I suppose actually it's a bit slow on the deceleration front, but, um, you know, it's it's a military ship. It doesn't, it's not meant to be like any kind of speed or anything, but, you know, for those kind of escort duties or, you know, just what if anything needs support or you need an area denial for, like, anti-fighter roles, this ship has kind of got you covered. And at the same time, it's not too expensive to make. It's pretty, it looks all right. I, I don't know, like, for a simple shape, it looks all right. Maybe it's that damn cockpit. I really do like how the um, how the bridge looks uh, in a honesty. And yeah, no, I, I must. My head must be leaning to one side. I'm I'm losing my goddamn mind. But let me know if you if you see what I mean. Um, just I just my head looks crooked. I just don't know what. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say for this particular. Um, this particular ship. Let me know what you think of this thing down below in the comments. Let me know also if my um, keyboard is really really noisy uh, if so let me know as well and I might have to try and use a different keyboard for recording which would be a right pain in the ass I don't mind telling you um, but you know I don't know until I try it so there is that um, and yeah link to my discord is in the description as always and uh, yeah you know the drill pretty much so thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video